Hello there, lunar lovers. Recently, I got a holographic mani, and I loved it so much, I wanted to crank out a fun matching lippy. If you love this look, don't forget to like and subscribe. I started off with NYX liner pencil in white to map out the outline of our moon. You may have seen me do this before, but when I need a line to continue from my top to my bottom lip, I always press my lips together so that the product transfers from the top to the bottom and I can see exactly where I need to start without any little skips or gaps. The inspiration for this look came from a couple of different places actually. I saw a shirt on Pinterest that was a moon t-shirt with a black background and a holographic moon in the center which I thought was awesome. And then also a friend of mine, Zach Zanga, who is fabulous, I'll link him down below, recently did a holographic makeup look that I fell in love with and I have been dying to do something since then. But when I posted this look on Instagram, a lot of you started tagging Manny MUA because this looks like his logo. I didn't know that until you guys started tagging me, but I'm so excited to be linked to him in any way whatsoever because obviously he's amazing. So yeah, inspiration is everywhere. You just gotta look around. So once you have the outline of the crescent moon laid out and placed where you want it to be, then you're gonna go ahead and fill it in with white. That way the product that we put on top of it to make it look holographic is gonna be really bright and stand out. Okay, now I wanna give you a tip for how to achieve the perfect shape. All you have to do is take a wet wipe and wrap it around your finger and then use your finger as an eraser. So since we haven't done the background yet, now we get to clean up our lines and get really sharp edges on the moon without messing anything up. I know, I'm a genius. You may have to go back in and touch up a couple little areas and go back and forth, a little wipe, a little touch up, but soon enough you'll have the perfect moon shape on your lips. Ta-da! Now since there is no defined holographic pattern, you just have to Google a couple of reference pictures for a holographic pattern that you like and then go from there. This product that I'm using is from NYX Cosmetics and this specific color is Vivid Blossom. I'm gonna go in with a brush dipped in just a little bit of water and I'm gonna blend that outward and inward. I decided to bring that purple color down to the base of the moon as well, so I'm applying that directly to my lip and then I'm going to use the brush to continue to blend. This almost overspray effect is what's gonna look like the holograph is melting from one color into the next. It's almost like a tie-dye look. So when I'm ready for the next color in this specific holographic pattern, which happens to be yellow in this case, it's gonna blend the colors together to create a new color. Next up in our hollow color progression is Little Denim Dresses Liquid Lipstick by NYX Cosmetics. I applied this color in the same way as the yellow and the purple before it, just blending the color into the next with my brush. And don't forget one of the best and cheapest blending brushes around, your finger. This bright pink liquid lippy is called Respect the Pink by NYX Cosmetics, and I used the back of my hand as a palette so that I could mix and blend the colors together as I apply them. I used this combo of tones to do the outer part of my bottom lip and then began with the center of my top lip. Again, all of these patterns are just kind of random, but something that might help to keep in mind is that holographic images sort of look like they're bleeding into one another. So that's the idea with the color. You really want it to be flawlessly blended from one to the next to the next. I'm using a House of Beauty product called a Lip Hybrid. The hybrid being a mix between lipstick and lip gloss, but you can tell it has this beautiful sheen. So the name of the game for this next part is really going to be texture. Obviously holographic images are very shiny and that's part of what gives it its appeal. So I'm using a couple different House of Beauty colors, the same ones that we've already laid down, just in a different texture right on top. And that layer is gonna make all the difference. All right, kitties, we are coming to the home stretch. This black color that you're looking at is one of my favorites. It's Kat Von D's black liquid lipstick called Witches and I'm applying that with a smaller brush so that I can really carve out the moon. This black color in contrast with the holographic lighter, shinier colors that we've been using is really what's gonna make it pop and stand out. It's definitely a little bit tedious really trying to get that shape of the moon, but try to make sure that the black isn't transferring over into the more iridescent shiny areas because that dark color is a you know what to remove. When I have to do really steady clean lines, sometimes it helps me to rest my hand on my chin just to be sure that it doesn't shake at the last minute or freak out because you know, those little lines, they can smell your fear. You gotta conquer that. So just take your time. Maybe don't drink your coffee or Red Bull while you're doing this, like I do all the time. <laughs> And once you've got all those gaps filled in, don't forget that you can kind of cheat and use a concealer to clean up around the edges. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect the first time. You can always fix it. 
Well, my little bananas, I hope you enjoyed my hollow moon tutorial. Thumbs up if you're into the holographic movement and subscribe for more crazy tutorials. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.